Hola a todos ustedes que volvieron para atrás para otro nuevo video. So here we are. We are going to be reviewing this toned watercolor sketchbook. Before we start up this review, I just want to let you guys know that there is a code um, down in the description if you guys would like to order some rosemary and co brushes. The code is not for a discount, but it will help me out. Um, and I do get a small portion of the whatever they make off of the order so it's a way for you guys to help me out and also help out this channel grow so if you guys would like to order some brushes use that code please it really helps out a lot and thank you and let's get started up with the video a little info about these sketchbooks they are by Hanamulu I think that's how you pronounce that um, so they come in two different colors it is a gray and also a tan so the colors of the sketchbooks are very light they're not a dark colored paper um, for, for both of them and also they come in a6 and I believe a5 uh, they are 60 pages within each um, sketchbook and it's a 200 pound paper for these sketchbooks i was trying to look for a review on them before purchasing them but i couldn't find one that gave a lot of detail on these sketchbooks so i just decided to purchase them anyways and do my own review so i got these sketchbooks a while back as well as some other art supplies along with them and today that is why i will be reviewing them because i really have been wanting to use them um, they're just really interesting, especially because they're toned and I've never really used any paper like this before. I think the closest that comes to it is my sketchbook by... I'm not sure what it's called, but it's a sketchbook that is slightly toned. Um, it's more like an off-white. But what I was really trying to look for in this sketchbook is just how well they worked with the mediums that I will usually be using. Um, with either urban sketching or just sketching here at home. Aquí en este video vamos a estar haciendo un review de estos sketchbooks de acuarela que son de tono. Uno es de gris y el otro es de un cafecito. Estos tonos no son tan subidos y también vamos aquí a mirar qué le podemos agregar, qué tipo de materiales podemos usar en estos sketchbooks y a ver cómo la hacemos aquí. So this sketchbook is a canvas covered sketchbook. So as you can tell over here and then um, it does come with a strap on the side that is a lighter color than the canvas and here's the inside oftentimes you'll find that the first two pages of your sketchbook are stuck together but this one is not here's the texture of the sketchbook as you can see here it doesn't really have any tooth so if you were looking for a sketchbook that has a lot of tooth this one is not for you and here you can see the size difference between the a6 and the a5 And here's the binding of the sketchbook. So this is what it looks like when you open it up on this um, sort of cream color one. And there's the binding again. So this is how your sketchbook will come once you unwrap it. And here is this page holder that you have, just a string, or not a string, but a ribbon. So this is how you will be using this and the strap goes on the side and it closes up your sketchbook and here we are going to be using a Caran uh, watercolor brush and as well as some watercolors because this is a watercolor sketchbook so we need to use some watercolors with these so the first thing that I will be sketching out is this philodendron and pink princess uh, la textura del sketchbook no no viene con mucha textura uh, si sí es poquito liso pero no 
no tiene tanta textura como un papel de cold press. Pero sí, sí tiene textura. Pero es más liso que nada. Y también el color que ves aquí es más como una crema que café. Uh, el material de afuera es hecho como de canvas y también tiene un listón para que puedas marcar de qué página estás pintando. Aquí nomás le estoy agregando unas pinturas. El sketch o el boceteo que estoy haciendo es de una plantita que se llama Philodendron Pink Princess. Aquí nomás le estoy agregando unos colores. Si ves los colores, cuando le agregas color en el papel, se cambia el color porque el color de abajo es obviamente es un como es una crema. So, el color que le vas a agregar no va a ser igual que le pusiste adecuadamente. So, cambia un poquito el tono del color, pero eso es porque el papel de abajo, que es normal, es lo que queremos. Aquí le estoy agregando un verde y aquí un azulito. So, as you can tell, um, I started off with a very light wash just so I could see um, how much difference the tone of the paper makes onto the color. And there is a slight difference, but it's not that grand of a difference. And the first thing that I want to let you guys know is that this watercolor paper does hold in a good amount of water. So, con este papel, si puedes usar mucha agua. Si tú eres la artista que tiene la mano pesada cuando estás haciendo tus boceteos y también borras mucho esos boceteos, no te preocupes porque este papel si aguanta, no se te va a enchinar el papel o se te va quitando la textura. Este papel si aguanta. Y también si tú eres un artista que le gusta agregar mucha agua, con tus acuarelas también no se va a quitar la textura si aguanta este papel tú le puedes agregar muchas capas si te gusta dibujar y hacer tus boceteos con muchas capas pues también aguanta este papel no te preocupes el papel no se va a destruir ok so if you're the artist that uses a very heavy hand when sketching don't worry about it doesn't matter how much you erase your sketches this paper will hold the paper will not crumble and will start to fall um, the texture will stay the same also you can use as much water as you want with this don't worry about it the paper will not um, start crumbling or will start losing its texture you can also use as many layers as you want I did I think I used about like five different layers for this sketch right here for the pink princess sketch um and i did use a lot of water so don't worry about it the paper is good another thing that i tried with this sketchbook was using microns and here i am doing a little bit of lettering not really i'm just kind of writing descriptive words or information about pink princesses but either way we know that you can use microns with this sketchbook um si tú quieres puedes usar estos marcadores de microns Sirve con este papel. So here is how the painting turned out. Esto es como se mira el boceteo aquí. Da, 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 da. Y seguimos con el otro sketchbook. Primero, antes que empecemos con el boceteo, vamos a estar escogiendo unos stickers. A ver, que le vamos a pegar aquí. Um, a mí me encanta poner los stickers en mis sketchbooks porque le da un poquito de característica. ¿No sé si no? No me acuerdo. Pero gives it a little bit of character when you add some stickers onto your sketchbook. Um, I've done this only a few times with my sketchbooks. 
Um, other than that, I just kind of leave my sketchbooks blank. I don't really do anything to them other than put stickers on them. Um, but here I was just trying to figure out which one looked the best because I have a lot of stickers from either my sister that gave me them or I recently um, got some from I think Color Sepam, another one from Plop, and then um, I think Perla de Mar also gave me some. Oh yeah, she did. And I got these bunnies one that my sister gave me. Here's the gold girl one that Color Sepam gave me. So I was kind of just like, I don't know which one to choose and which one goes best. But in the end, I decided this is Plant Lover look the best in this sketchbook and yeah that was it that's all i did i just chose which one i wanted if you guys didn't know i actually really do love plants i have a lot of plants over here in my little tiny studio and i actually do have this monastery over here that you see in the sticker um but mine is not that big it's pretty small but I can't wait to grow it into a full, full plant. And here, this um, tool that I will be using is the Uniball white pen. And then here's this brush pen. Da -da -da. And then also this pastel pencil from Fiber Castell. It's white. Later on, you'll see that it didn't work. Oh, look here. Look, you can tell. It didn't work. I couldn't see anything but then I used this Karen Dosh sketch pencil and it worked beautifully yep that was it that's what I did and then after lining it up I just erased the sketch but yeah it was interesting to know that I guess pasta pencils can be used in the sketchbook why well, at least the white one you can't use it for sketching because it's just not going to stick onto the paper, you know? At least we tried. Here you can see that I am using this brush pen in order to line up on my sketch. And there wasn't any difference from when I used it just on regular paper. It was the same. Aquí, como miran, estoy usando este lapicero de brocha. Uh, este marcador es negro como ven y pues lo sé como regularmente cuando hago otros boceteos de nomás de línea y pues quedó igual no hay diferencia una cosa que no sé es si este papel es frío o caliente porque aquí no te dice por dónde está la información de este sketchbook Pero lo que sí veo es que cuando le agregas la pintura o le agregas agua, sí se sangra un poquito, pero no tanto. Es como en medio de frío y de caliente. So one thing that I noticed with this paper was that it wasn't cold pressed paper and it wasn't hot pressed paper because it doesn't actually say um, here in the information that they give you but it kind of bleeds just a little tiny bit it doesn't really bleed that much so it's kind of like a cold press and kind of like a hot press because it really doesn't bleed all that much and also the texture it doesn't really have that much texture as i've said before so that's why i'm like i don't know which one it is either way it looks good the finish is good this paper does warp a little bit but it only warps after it's done drying during the time when you are painting it sort of kind of just folds just like a little tiny 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 mountain but other than that it doesn't warp that much it sort of just stays flat during the time that you are painting durante el tiempo cuando estás pintando este papel se queda casi plano pero luego cuando se seca el papel y luego pues ahí ves que se empieza a tener unas montañitas ahí no tanto pero sí sí tiene un poco eso no se queda todo plano pero ahí luego tú ves de qué tanto 
agua le agrega si sí, pues eso determina de qué tanto se va a estar haciendo esas montañitas eso es todo por este video uh, no te olvides suscribirte y también darle un like si te gustó este video y si vas a comprar unas nuevas brochas pues ahí tienes ese código por favor suscríbete y yo te veo cuando te veo um everybody subscribe to this channel if you are watching right now um, that is all for this video i'll see you guys next time and don't forget to use that code in order to support the channel and give it a like if you actually like this video if not don't do it um but i'll see you when i see you